Let's go. This is just another level for me. This is just another level for me. This is just another level for me when I'm out here on my own and my own do me. I, I, I ain't got no time for no local jokers or no hocus pocus who keep taking all these photos. Trying to make me lose my focus and make me go local. I'm on another level when I'm playing with these vocals. I ain't got no time for no local jokers or no hocus pocus who keep taking all these photos. Trying to make me lose my focus and make me go local. I'm on another level when I'm playing with these vocals. What you really mean when you said that? information has been spreading like wildfire lately and it just so happens ladies and gentlemen this is the one place out there on tiktok where all lies all liars will be exposed because you know what ladies and gentlemen um we don't have time we do not have much time and you know what if you are a trump supporter i'm going to be honest if you're somebody on the right this may be the worst 1.5 hours of your day. And you know why it is. It is because 
I am debunking, along with a lot of my friends, we are debunking a lot of myths and conspiracies as it relates to the conduct that is going on in the Republican Party. Yes, I did vote Democrat, and I am proud of it. <laughs> and we are going to say... We are going to save these lo lovely United States one day at a time out here on TikTok. Yes, the Chinese-based app called TikTok, okay? Uh, when it comes to freedom of speech, listen, anyone can have an opinion to share. I, I welcome all. I really do. Welcome heaven. I welcome everyone's insight and perspective. The only request I have is that you do not come in here and commit crimes in the kingdom. What are the crimes? Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, disrespecting the host, that's the very first thing. <laughs> Gotta get your band from the kingdom. Okay, yes, be truthful as much as you can. I know a lot of you believe a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, lies and misinformation will be addressed immediately. <laughs> okay, and there's one thing out here that still, uh, it seems like people still don't get it. Ladies and gentlemen. Blasphemy in the kingdom. What what exactly is blasphemy? There are still people out here. Good morning, Leela. Nice to see you. There are still people out here. Uh, they come into my lives and they refuse to acknowledge one thing that you and I know is true. And what is that? Well, it's that I am Triple H. Hey, <laughs> what exactly is Triple H? Uh, well, they call me Triple H because I am honest. Yes, I am the most honest person on TikTok. Uh, the other H, humble. I, I'm the most humble person out here. No one more humble than me. And the last H is because I am the most handsome. <laughs> handsome man on TikTok. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you all. Yes. Yes. Uh, for those of us who are all Democrats, please put those blue waves in the comment section. And you're more than welcome to put the uh, pictures of Jack Smith. Good morning, April. Please put the pictures of Jack Smith. Good morning, Dave Wilson. I hope that Lake Merritt water is treating you nice, okay? <laughs> uh, but ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, uh, you know what I like to say before the show starts, especially to the Trump supporters. If you're not happy here... Then you can leave. That's right. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country. That's right. If you're not happy here, yes. you can leave. Mm -hmm. If you're not happy in the U.S., <laughs> if you're complaining all the time. Yeah. Very simply, you can leave. That's you can right. leave right now. Yeah. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's yeah. okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Order! That's right. You can leave. Okay. I am not asking anyone that doesn't want to be here to be here, okay? I assume you came here because you are an adult, okay? I, I assume that's why you're here. And I also assume that you're here because you want to be set free, because you've been in those lives of lies out here on TikTok. You know what they do in those lives, right? They spread fear. They spread a lot of misinformation. And they get you all so scared and worked up. The next thing you do is you go, you go onto their website, you go into their live and you start sending them all your hard earned money and you think they're going to protect you. <laughs> Cut it out. They can't save you. No one can save you. The only thing that you can do to save yourself is to get a good dose of this truth. That is being served up in this live. And it's not just me. I have a whole team of people that love to come in and share the truth. Okay, so let's get started with one of my favorite topics to talk about on TikTok. This, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have talked about January 6th. Over and over and over. Okay, and yet and still, I seem to, I feel like I haven't gotten as much progress as I would like to get on January 6th, okay? Especially when it comes to Ray Epps. So, for those of you who do not know, Ray Epps, he came out of the woods, okay, and got on to 60 Minutes, okay? And he shared with Zeus, I was watching it, he shared with me. A lot of insight 
behind what actually happened on January 6th. So to all of the Trump supporters out there who continue to spread the conspiracy that Ray Epps was responsible, you won't say Trump was, and you say that uh, Nancy Pelosi was responsible, you know what I got for you? <laughs> So let's get into this story. Ray Epps was a once Fox loving MAGA loyalist of Trump. Now he thinks he's the January 6th scapegoat. You won't believe this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. You all know who Ray Epps was at the time. This is a prime example of what happens when you go to onto too many TikTok lives when you go onto too many Facebook pages and you're on too many Twitter pages that are all linked to QAnon conspiracies. You end up down there in Washington, D.C., January 5th, the day before the attack on the Capitol, thinking, good morning, Brother Greg, nice to see you. You end up out there thinking you're saving America. <laughs> Only to be setting yourself up for an epic fail. You know, as much as I like to say Ray Epps did not plan what happened, I truly do believe he brought this on himself and I have no mercy because the signs were there that he should stop supporting Trump and his lies. The signs were there that he should stop believing Fox News, but yet and still he, like millions of other Americans out here, they, they continue to watch this stuff. They think that, that Fox News is still telling them the truth even after all of this has came out, ladies and gentlemen. But let's get into this a little more. Um, For January 6th attackers and pro-Donald Trump followers, Ray Epps is a villain. He's the villain that caused the January 6th attack on the Capitol. They say this. They say Ray Epps colluded with Nancy Pelosi uh, to get everyone there riled up. They got footage of him outside of the Capitol encouraging people to go in. And you hear someone yell, Fed, fed, fed. And they're saying with all of that right there, that's what links Ray Epps to what happened. But unfortunately, it's all a lie, ladies and gentlemen. Epps was a passionate Trump supporter when he went to Washington, D.C. for the January 6th rally. He was a loyal Fox viewer, too. But after becoming the GOP's boogies, man, he's changed. <laughs> Oh, Ray Epps, you've seen the light. Thank God. It took all of this, Ray, before you realized that perhaps you should get away from the MAGA crowd because they're not there to help you. They're there to only do one thing, and that is to help Donald J. Trump spread those lies and misinformation. And we have the receipts. Um, speaking on 60 Minutes, you can go watch this. Epps, a former Marine and Oath Keeper. This is why I say I have no, no, uh, I have no, I don't feel bad for him because look at what he was doing. A former Marine and an Oath Keeper. He explained that now he is hiding. He is hiding because his fellow MAGA supporters are now sending him threats. I won't say the what kind of threats, but you can see it right there. They're threatening him now. This is a guy who loved Trump so much that he went down to the Capitol to help stop the steal. And now he's saying that the people he went there with, <laughs> he's saying that the people he went there with are threatening him because he refuses to be the scapegoat. He and his wife were forced to sell their home and go on the run. <laughs> This is what I've been warning, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I've been saying. Um, there is, if you go watch this interview, right? This is just a nice little snippet of it. Um, there is a uh, uh, an investigator for the January 6th committee. He talks in, during this interview, and he actually says that he would like to just defend the facts. He's not defending Ray Epps. He's just defending the facts. And the facts are, is there is still absolutely Zero evidence that Ray Epps was a federal agent. 
or a federal provocateur. I saw somebody in the comments say that there's a lot of TDS in here. And you're damn right, there's a lot of TDS in here. <laughs> Oops, I shouldn't curse like that, huh? My apologies, my apologies. But yes, we will continue to bring down the hammer of truth in this live. So I'm debunking that Ray Epps don't send me no invites to battle when I'm going in on TikTok. I can't battle when I'm going in. Uh, so we've debunked once again um, that Ray Epps, uh, he was not working for the FBI. We've now debunked why Ray Epps was there, okay, because he was there trying to support Trump. And we're going to get a little deeper. But we po I wanted to make sure you pay attention to this part that I read earlier when I said he's no longer a Trump supporter. He no longer likes to watch Fox News. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And he never worked for the FBI. So for those of you who continue to spread that misinformation out here, uh, I wanted to make sure that when you get into the box today and you try, or any time going forward, anybody that tries to bring up Ray Epps, I'm just going to have to ask you to stop. And then if you don't stop, I'm going to ask you, well, maybe you should go read up on and, and listen to Ray Epps interview. And if you still don't stop, I might just have to drop you from the box. <laughs> Good morning, uh, Little Miss Perfect. And by the way, for the Democrats and those who continue to support real policies that have positive change on Americans, please put those blue waves in the comment section, please. Because I don't want Trump supporters to think that uh, the, the election was stolen in 2020. I want them to know that there are real Democrats here who will do everything legally that they can uh, to vote Trump out and keep Biden in office. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way, I do want to point that out. If if Trump is the front runner for the 2024 um, presidential election, I just want you to be put on notice um, that uh, Biden will be getting a second term. I don't care what the poll numbers say. I really don't. One thing I do know is we're not doing another four years of Trump in the White House, okay? Under no certain circumstances. I don't care. You can you can talk about Hunter Biden as much as you want. That's not going to stop us. We will listen, and not just us, but especially Gen Z. Because I put up a video and I said, what does the Republican Party stand for? A.K.A. the uh, the alt-right and the MAGA support. What do they stand for? Crickets. They can't give me an answer. All they want to talk to me about is Hunter Biden's laptop, which to me makes absolutely no sense. The man, what man out here doesn't have a little dirt on their laptop? Come on. <laughs> I'm just being honest. You don't like me because I'm telling the truth. But guess what? I'd rather be realer than you. <laughs> so let's get into this. Uh, Ray Epps a little more. OK, uh, this is what Ray Epps said about Tucker Carlson. He said he's obsessed with me. He's going to any means possible to destroy my life and our lives. He said this in front of his wife. You should see this man on 60 Minutes in front. He's talking and he got his wife there. And I'm saying to myself, how sad. This is the saddest thing in America. When when Trump supporters, <laughs> actually it's not. It's actually funny. When Trump supporters start turning on Trump supporters. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> this, is really, this is really what's happening out here, ladies and gentlemen. And he says, well, why do you think that uh, these folks, Ray Epps, why do you think they're blaming you? And this is Ray Epps' answer. To shift the blame on somebody else. If you look at it, Fox News, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Ted Cruz, Matt Gates, they're all telling us before this thing that it was stolen. So you tell me what has more impact on people, them or me? Well, Ray Epps, I would definitely say Fox News and those uh, members of the Republican Party, okay, they definitely have more of an impact than you, sir, with all due respect. But here's the thing. I think I understand what Ray Epps is doing right now. I, I started to, you know, as he started talking, I, I think I understand what Ray Epps is doing. He's building up his case 
because he wants to go sue Fox News. <laughs> At this point, Trump supporters, do do yourselves a favor. Just admit you were duped and go ahead and file that lawsuit against Fox News and get your money, okay? Because that's probably the best way to move forward. Do what Ray Epps is doing, okay? Because if you continue to sit out here and promote lies and misinformation, you're only setting yourselves up for failure. Now, this is what he said justified him being there. And then I'm going to move on to my next topic, okay? But I wanted to spend a little time on the Ray Epps thing because I still run into people out here who still try to sell me on the conspiracy that Ray Epps was somehow the responsible party for what happened on January 6th. And, and by the way, just, you know, full transparency, let me be clear about who was responsible for the attack on the Capitol on January 6th. Donald Trump, definitely. The, pre the former president of the United States, front and center, responsible for what happened on January 6th. Okay, I'm giving you, listen, for all of you who I interview and I, you get in my box and I ask you a set of questions, take this, note this down. This is a, this is the answer that's going to be uh, on the test that I give, okay? And if you, if you want to pass, take these notes. Donald Trump was responsible for the attack on the Capitol on January 6th, Okay. Donald Trump knew that Biden won the election fair and square. It wasn't stolen, okay? And on top of this, the attack on the Capitol, it was planned by a host of other individuals, Rudy Giuliani, John Eastman, Mark Meadows, okay? Uh, and, and, and some Republicans in Congress who got criminal referrals, okay? So that's the answer to the quiz that's coming up, okay? And I, I'm giving that away, okay? <laughs> All right, now let's. Who was responsible for the attack on the on the Tennessee cat? There was no uh, old pappy. You want to talk old pappy? You know what, old pappy? I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna need you to change your name. I I, I just I just I just your name, sir. Your name, sir, screams. It screams all kind of nastiness. I don't know what's worth. Hello, fourth sister. I don't know what's worse. Is it the old part or is it the Pappy part? You tell me. <laughs> By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I know who old Pappy is. He's served our country, okay? He loves uh, like Popeye, but he's got it wrong when it comes to politics, okay? He's got it wrong, old Pappy. Change your name. <laughs> Order in the court, okay? And no, I will not change my platform. You know what I say to you, old pappy? If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country. That's right. If you're not happy here, you can leave. That's right. In the U.S., if you're complaining all the time. That's right. Very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. That's right. But if Thank you're not you. happy, you can leave. Now, did we got that? Did we have that understood, uh, old Pappy? <clears throat> and that's those are orders from your former boss. <laughs> you don't like it because I tell the truth. I get it, Linda. Thank you so much for the gifts. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I like that you said never because you're truly you're in the right place. I think, uh, you know, when I do these lives. And the reason I think these lives are important, especially uh, when my friends and get in the box and they start talking and they share what's going on. I think these lives help a lot of people understand that there's a lot more going on in this country than what they're getting from their social media feeds and Fox News. I'm, a, I'm just being honest. So I hope I hope you're learning something here, sir. All right. Now, let's move on to the next topic. OK, before I open up these boxes. OK, uh, pro DeSantis pack says it's will it will help finance Donald Trump to move from the worst state Florida to his beloved state of California. Now ladies and gentlemen, what is this all about? <laughs> I think this is quite hilarious. But you know what? Uh we're going to take a pad. No need to bring Donald Trump and his shenanigans here. Okay, we don't need him. We do not need Trump in California. A super PAC formed to boost Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' presidential bid said that it will chip in to help Donald Trump move to California after the ex-president ripped his home state in a series of attacks. <laughs> oh, no! We will 
not take him. We will not take him, okay? Because listen, uh, he he belongs right where he's at, uh, and you heard it here first. Donald Trump is so deeply he has so deeply disparaged the state of Florida by calling it the worst state. We will help him leave by offering financial assistance to him to help him move to his beloved California. Chris Jankowski, CEO of Never Back Down Pack, said Saturday in a tongue and cheek. Um, you know, I think this is hilarious because this is another example of what I like to call splitting the Red Sea. OK, he said he said this because, you know, uh, in that Fox News interview, Donald Trump gloated over Gavin Newsom. And by the way, shout out to Gavin Newsom. He's been doing such an excellent job out here in the lovely state of California. Uh, and, you know, and I know a lot of people know this. <clears throat> Gavin Newsom, one of the best governors in these uh, lower 48. Um, he does, right? Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> um, okay, so let me... <clears throat> this is what the gentleman goes on to say. He says, no one will notice when Trump leaves. Will Florida notice when Trump leaves? <laughs> it's getting nasty. Hey, it's getting nasty for Trump, and it's hard to be a supporter. I know it is. New don't say that about Newsom. Come on now. Newsom's doing a great job standing up for democracy, helping to protect women's reproductive rights, and helping combat childhood poverty. <laughs> Newsom's not out here banning books. Speaking of banning books, to my friends on the right, I, 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 this, this is a little off topic, but you know what? I felt like I need to share it with you. To my friends on the right, when you ban books, before you ban guns, you've admitted you're more afraid of children learning than you are of them losing their life. Ladies and gentlemen, to my friends on the right. Oh! What do you stand for? Oh! I know, they don't, I know, don't get mad at me. I'm just telling the truth. What do you stand for out here? The old saying, you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And I truly believe that is for the Republican Party. Yes, thank you for the gift. The Republican Party seems to fall for anything, okay? I, I go into these lives, okay? This is the most bizarre thing ever. They're debating all kinds of topics that they know they have no understanding on how to debate. Now they're going, they come into my line. Zeus, what is a woman? This is what they ask me. And I don't give them an answer. I say, you tell me. No, you tell me. No, you tell me. No, you tell me. Ah, we got him. Zeus doesn't know what a woman is. Is that what you want to talk to me about? Okay, well, to my friends on the right, since you're so, you're such an expert on what a woman is. I was having a good conversation with one of my friends this weekend, and we were talking about this. You know, they're, they're in their lives, they're talking about transgender issues and things like that. And I had came to a point, and, I, and this is the question I want someone on the right who loves to talk about this stuff to answer this one question. You ready? For my uh, friends on the right that love to brand themselves as strong men, okay? This is a question for you. Here it goes. What is stopping you from being a woman? Think about it. What really is stopping you from being a woman? I'm going to ask you to marinate on that. Okay? And then you come in the box and you share with me what exactly it is. <laughs> no, don't say bones. Bones is not a good answer. Nope, nope. I'm not going to let that pass. It's a lot. I, I have the answer. I really do. But I don't know if you do. OK. And it has nothing with your uh, your 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 biological stuff going on, your genetics. No, it's simpler than that. OK. <laughs> you don't like me because I tell the truth. No, nope, don't even say science. Don't even say God. Look at them. No, 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 that's not it. I'm so sorry. You're all for all of the for for all the guys out there who, who brand themselves as masculine. Uh, there's a simple answer that you don't want to believe, but it's true. There's only one thing stopping you from being a woman. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, now let's move it on to the. <laughs> oh, I'm getting them swerving. I'm getting them. I'm moving on to the last uh, topic before I open up these boxes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, I'm going to talk to each and every single person that wants to uh, talk to me. But uh, it's very important that we talk about the things that are going on. Um, to my friends on the right, the Republican budget, you know, they're talking about this debt ceiling. Uh, and this is another reason for people to vote blue. OK, because blue is true. Uh, Republican budget will harm veterans by putting at least 50,000 vets on the streets. Shame. Can you believe this? They get out here and they say, it's the Democrats that are trying to cut Social Security. It's the Democrats that don't want to help veterans. Well, while they got you distracted, okay, and they got you distracted, you know what they got you distracted on? You know, all the Trump arrests, you know, you got TDS, uh, and they're talking about uh, Hunter Biden, you know. They're talking about transgender issues and things like that. Everything to get you worked up. And while they're distracting you, they're behind the scenes, Cutting resources from our veterans. This is what I'm talking about. Everything you think you stand for, you may think that you stand for it, but your party doesn't. Shame. You don't want to believe me? You could go ahead and check it here. Office of Public Intergovernmental Affairs. Listen to what these proposed budget cuts are intended to do. They threaten Medicare for veterans, okay? Uh, 81,000 jobs lost across Veterans Health Care Administration. Undermine access to telehealth. Worse wait time for benefits. Benefits. What else does it do? Prevent construction of health care facilities that vet veterans need. Fails to honor the memory of all veterans. Cutting It cuts housing for our veterans. <laughs> Increases food insecurity for our veterans. Shame. What else does it does? Uh, let's see. It cuts housing. Uh, we already said that. Deprives veterans of mental health, substance use, and other health services. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, it eliminates job training and other supports for homeless veterans. <laughs> this 22% reduction in the budget, ladies and gentlemen, is a disaster. And I want you to understand, it's being brought to you by the Republican Party, not the Democrats. So when these folks, they get out here on TikTok and they start trying to cry and blame Biden, blame Pelosi, who, who do they like to blame? Ray Epps, Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder. I just want you to understand, we have the receipts over here, ladies and gentlemen. These are not lies, this is truth. You can go look it up. I put the government website right up there. So you can go see it for yourself. Okay. They're not going to talk about this on Fox News. They're going to continue to woo you and make you believe that the 2020 election was stolen. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's Monday, but that was a lot I had to address. Okay. Before I get up out of here. Now I'm going to open up these boxes. Okay, uh, greetings attacking. I'm going to open up these boxes because I do want to hear uh, from, from all of you out there. I ask, okay, there's been a lot of complaints that I'm not getting to everybody during the live. So I'm going to try this today. Let's see if we can get it out in two minutes. If there's no one else in there, you and I will just keep. If there's no one in the box, uh, you and I will keep talking. You can send another request right after you drop. You know, you could come up more than once, but at least try to keep it under two minutes because I do have to get up out of here. Uh, you know, the show is only supposed to be an hour, but lately I've been going an hour and a half. OK, uh, but try to get in here and get it, get it out as fast as you can so I can get through at least all of the people, especially the fan favorites and my subscribers. OK, because those people tend to get priority in this live. But I do want to hear from all of you. And by the way, uh, I, I also monitor. I, I, I will drop people. I will. I will give them warnings. <laughs> And I do that because you got to protect the live TikTok. You know, if anyone in the box gets suspended, I will lose my ability uh, to download the live and post it on my YouTube page. Right. So uh, if I sense you're heading in that direction, it has nothing to do with me trying to block or censor you. It has everything to do with me protecting that lot. My lie.
No cursing, no name calling, ladies and gentlemen. And let's have these conversations because these are important. These are very important conversations that we need to have here in these lovely United States of America. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, I'm, the box should be open. Okay, I'm waiting to hear from each and every single one of you. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. They don't like me because I tell 100% truth, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes, 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 we got them. Oh, the crowd favorite, Brother Swervin. Good nice morning, my brother. Happy hey. Monday morning. Happy, happy, happy Monday. Yeah, yeah. It is a happy Monday. But I wanted to touch, I wanted to touch on a couple. I wanted to touch on a couple of points real quick, if I could. Absolutely. Because uh, I know you're busy in the kingdom, and I don't want to take up your time. Hey, listen, it's your so, world. So listen, we got we got Hunter Biden, who is now going after Marjorie Trader Green. Oh. Uh, he's also going after other people saying, I want to know how my private financial records got in, ended up in the hands of other people. Mm. Right. Right. I don't know when I don't know when Congress decided to start going after private citizens, but that's exactly what Hunter Biden is. OK, mm. right. And in that same respect, I will also say this. If Hunter Biden Biden is guilty of something, which it looks like they're about to nail him on a couple of uh, tax issues. OK. And, and the purchase of an illegal weapon. Sorry, Hunter, you got to go. <laughs> if James Brown got to go, you got to go. I completely agree. If, if Red Fox got to go. We're not protecting Hunter. Yeah, if Red Fox got to go, you got to go. Yeah, he got to go. If Wesley Snipes, a.k.a. Blade, has to go, Hunter, you got to go. That's the plain truth Next. of it. That's Listen. the plain truth of it. Jail will do a lot of people some good if they go in there and learn, and no one's above it. He might be able to get clean. Yeah. He yeah. might find, he might find Jesus. Yeah. He might find Islam. We mm. don't know. Yeah. We don't know. But mm. it ain't gonna hurt him. But I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Oh. While his father is president. If these are if these are federal crimes, I don't think his father is gonna let him spend a day in jail without giving him a pardon that's but that's just me yeah okay but at least at least he was he was indicted yeah. arrested miranda asked tried went the process. he went he went through the process right because you know you're innocent until proven guilty right <laughs> so they say so they say you know and you're supposed to have a Fair trial, right? Yeah, they they know they know Hillary Clinton is guilty, but Donald Trump, well, you're innocent until proven guilty. Right. And yeah. that's the most bizarre thing, isn't it? Well, it, it's just weird. They know Hunter Biden is guilty. They know Joe Biden is guilty. Yet we ain't seen one docket number on either of them, but they're guilty. Mm. But Donald Trump, who we've seen docket numbers for, well, he's innocent until proven guilty. Mm. That's just... That's just make a little it, weird to me. Make it make sense. I mean, I mean, do you think that they really believe Hunter Biden and Hillary Clinton and Joe? Do you think they really believe that uh, these guys are guilty? These guys and gals? Oh no, they don't. They don't believe it. They know it beyond a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> they know it beyond a shadow of a doubt. <sighs> and with as many, I mean, look, man, with as many investigations as Hillary Clinton had against her, and they couldn't pin her down on anything. Right. And they sit there and, well, well, Congress did this and Congress. Yeah, Congress is, that's a committee. That is not a jury trial. Right. So I don't, I don't understand. Like, it just, it just amazes me. They're all guilty. But with Donald Trump, we, you know, he, he's innocent until proven guilty. Mm. That's what's even, even with, even with the amount of information out about Trump and his crimes, right? You're telling me that there are still people out there that think Trump is innocent. Mm -hmm. 34 felonies. Well, imagine what that, what imagine that, if Hunter Biden had 34 felonies. I was in a live yesterday, Zeus, and somebody told me point blank. He said, he said, just what I'm telling you. Well, Donald Trump, you know, everybody, 
the burden of proof is on the prosecutors at this point and, you know, Trump's innocent until proven guilty. And I said, do you think Hillary Clinton is guilty of anything? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm like, well, what is she guilty of? Where, where can I find that case yeah. where she was drug in the court and actually tried and convicted of something? Well, they didn't really have a courtroom case or proceedings per se, so she ain't guilty of nothing. <laughs> she ain't guilty of nothing. Oh, well, Congress found her guilty of several things. What? Wait guilty a minute. Day. She is guilty, but Bill Clinton, remember, met on the tarmac, remember, and whispered something into uh, Loretta Lynch's ear, remember? Mm -hmm. and, and, and so that right there is our... Uh, constitutional evidence that you know the FBI through Soros funding uh, yeah. let Hillary Clinton off. And, right? and don't, don't forget Bill Gates orchestrated the whole thing. <laughs> he orchestrated the whole thing. Oh, we're going to get in Bill, trouble out here, uh, swear the, you know. The oh, other thing I the to truth? How are we? Oh, I'm done. How are we mocking the truth? Mm. Yep. The other thing I wanted to touch on was the whole the whole veterans. Oh, okay. talk to because, it. as you know, I am a veteran. I'm a combat veteran. I've served several tours overseas. That's right. Um, where That's all right. the fighting is going on in Sudan right now. I served an intelligence gathering mission in Sudan. I've been to Djibouti, uh, Afghanistan, Iraq, Egypt, Cairo, Iran. You know, I've I've been to all these different yeah. places, and I've seen. Thank you for your service, uh, brother Swerving. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I've seen humanity at its very best, and I've seen it at its very worst, and I've seen Republicans use our veterans and our active duty service personnel as nothing more than political pawns. I remember when Donald Trump declared a national emergency at the border crisis because his own Congress wouldn't fund his border wall. Mm. So he declared a national emergency and he took $15 billion from base military housing projects, base school projects, elementary school changed. projects to build a new school. Lady G, a.k.a. Lindsey Graham, comes on television and says, those kids are going to eventually get their new school, but we have this crisis at the border. Oh. No, there was no crisis. It, it, just, it just wasn't the garbage that they claimed but they love veterans. Tammy Duckworth, you know who Tammy Duckworth is? No, 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 tell me, who is this? Who Tammy, is this? Tammy Duckworth is a representative from Illinois. Mm. She's also a representative who is a combat fighter pilot. Oh. And she was an Apache fighter pilot, if I recall, and she had both her legs blown off in combat. At wow. the same time, while Tucker Carlson was being thrown off a Dancing with the Stars in eighth place. Mm. Okay, that's a fact. Then Tucker, then Tucker Carlson railed against Tammy Duckworth. Okay, he railed against her for not paying property taxes in Illinois. Jeez. But guess what? The state of Illinois doesn't require veterans to pay property taxes. <laughs> but for some reason, for him, it was a big problem. Mm. But, you know, they love our veterans so much. Tammy Duckworth introduced a bill when we get out of the service. Mm. 30 days before we get out, we get enrolled. We have to go through what's called TAP, T-A-P, right. Transition Assistance Program. Right. After we're done with TAP, we're discharged, and then when we get back to our home of record, we have to go and enroll in benefits. Mm. Tammy Duckworth created a two-page bill that would automatically enroll us in our benefits. Right. Before we left the service. So everything we would have our veterans ID cards. Mm. We would have everything we needed to just show up Support. and schedule appointments. Right. Republicans said no. Shame. So don't tell me you support veterans when at every turn you do everything you can to take benefit benefits away from our veterans. Why do and you want to take the cut, benefits away? Now you want to cut VA funding. Veterans wow. Administration funding, which is my health care. Look at it. Look at it. What we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the Republican Party once again behaving badly. You want to cut my health care funding along with hundreds of other thousand veterans throughout the country. You want to cut the funding for veterans disability benefits, which is also something that I am a beneficiary of. <clears throat>
but you want to tell me that you support veterans? You know, so we can cut, and this is something that I fought Democrats and Republicans for. Tell them. Because it's been going on for decades. And I will, I will hold Democrats accountable just like I will the Republicans. We could take 5%, just 5% of our current military budget, pay our active duty service personnel right. more money so they don't have to be on food stamps. So they don't have to be on food stamps, but they want to help our active duty service personnel. Miss me with that garbage. <laughs> I'm not trying to help nobody. And then the ones who are on food stamps, now you want to limit the food they can buy. You can't go to the you can't go to the butcher and get a chicken. Or you can't buy a frozen chicken. No, now you gotta buy chicken out of a can. Mm. Or or spam. Mm. This is all you're allowed to feed your children. Wow. When, when a husband or wife is overseas or out on a ship or in a submarine or forward operating base. Rich. Actually defending this country. They won't do jack or crap to help but they will keep pumping money into our military the military war machine mm. to make sure america stay safe we have an air another aircraft carrier being built right now mm. you know these things cost in excess of 50 billion dollars to build tell them 50, it's ridiculous 50 of them things we have like nine or ten aircraft carriers each aircraft carrier has its own battle group that battle group consists of the aircraft carrier two fast attack submarines one nuclear submarine two destroyers two frigates two cruisers and two oilers you have an entire fleet of one battle group that is capable of unleash unleashing more firepower in the history of every war put together on this planet mm. and that's what they're concerned with they're not concerned with paying the men and women who serve on board these vessels, the proper amount of money that they need so that their own children don't starve. They won't do anything to help I, I get very passionate when I talk about our veterans and our active duty personnel. That's, that, that's fine. You know, I do, I want to make sure there's always space um, for that, okay? You know, while they're out here trying to, you know, get us distracted with their, their silly, uh, conspiracy theories and nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Now, I got to go to the next uh, person, but you're more than welcome. No, I get it, brother. I get it. I understand. I just wanted to get that out, man. Just maybe a little vent session. I appreciate you letting me vent as always. And no, uh, it's all good in the hood. You, you enjoy the rest of the day on the kingdom. Oh, and uh, you just keep keeping it real. And I'm going to keep keep watching you. Yes. Thank you, brother. Take it easy, Zeus. Be safe, be safe, Be safe, brother. Get in the box and testify from on high, okay? That's all I'm asking. Get in the box. Tell the truth, okay? Swervin, thank you so much for your service. Thank you so much for getting in here and educating everyone on the struggles and the realities that go on with, with the veterans out here. And to those out there who are criticizing me, my critics and my detractors, there's only one thing I have to say to you. Cut it out. Cut it out. You don't like us because we tell the truth? Shame. Shame on you. All right. We are moving on to the next panelist. Okay. Another fan favorite, uh, Nutty Professor. Don't worry, I see all of you in the box. I'm going to get to you. Let Zeus do okay. what he does. Uh, get up, Nutty Professor. Greetings. What's up? I'm going to slap, I'm a slap swerving right upside that bald head of his. Why? And, I, and then I'm going to punch you because you said two minutes, and he came in here and just monologued. Swerving, <laughs> I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, Swerve. True. What's going on, good people? Y'all doing all right Monday, today? Uh, Nutty Happy Monday. Monday Who's that on your uh, profile picture? I really can't say. See, yeah, he, he he's not worth you squinting your eyeball for. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah. I was concerned. Yeah, he's not even worth you squinting your eyeball for. <laughs> this, I don't even like to say his name, but it's the little punk who unalived the BLM protesters in Wisconsin. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're okay. Fair enough. Yeah, he's. He's crying those MAGA tears. Mm, so, mm. so anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, Epps, your yes. buddy Epps. 
I am loving it. I'm loving that he's squealing now because he is being, you know, held accountable. Yeah. <laughs> and now he wants to, you know, cry like a canary. I know you're supposed to sing like a canary, but he's crying because my poor same people, they're just against me now. I I, I was just out there with my peoples and yeah. I don't understand why they're going against me. I, 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 I just don't understand. He makes the water boy look smart, big <laughs> dummy. Hey, he does, doesn't he? Because I, you know, you know what? You all have consequences. You know, yeah. you you have you you, you have, there's consequences to your actions. No one made you go out there on J six and act like a plum fool. Well, he said Fox. He said Fox News. Okay, he said it was a sloppy election. Uh, and and the fact that these media talking heads were saying it was stolen, it, it gave him the impression that he needed to be there, you know, along with Trump saying what he said. He we he needed to be there to make sure uh, that the Congress was doing what they were supposed to be doing. That's why he Zeus, said he was there. So in Zeus, a way, in a way, he was forced to be there, right? Zeus, no. Zeus, are we a nation of laws? Absolutely. Or are we supposed to be a nation of laws? I, I know there's a different justice system for them and us, but we're supposed uh, to be a nation of in laws, this right? Kingdom, uh, Mr. Professor, uh, we are a kingdom of law and order. So if, okay, so if we're a nation of law, of law, there's no excuse. That's not an excuse. So, so if we're a nation of laws, yes. okay, yes. I, I, I concede Fox News is the garbage. It's garbage, mm. but but you cannot sit there and tell me that first of all, no one had a pew pew to your head and said you must watch Fox News. Mm. It was a choice that you made. So mm. ultimately, well, at the I, end well, George, of the I don't day, trust CNN and MSNBC, and I don't you know read websites. But at, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's choices that you made that took you down that rabbit hole. Mm. So I believe in personal accountability. That's why I, I hate the fact that Dominion settled instead of going to court over Fox because hmm. these people needed to hear from these anchors. You were lied to. Hmm. Do but I don't, I don't care that he was watching Fox. and I don't care he, bl he blames Tucker and Hannity. I don't care because they didn't put a pew pew to his head and say go out there. Nor did Donald Trump. Hmm. Hmm. And so that's the saying, only time you're going to hear me what do you, defend what do you, Donald Trump. What do you Trump. think about the funny part about this, which is uh, he's now getting threats from Trump supporters, and he he was a Trump supporter. First of all, I think I think getting threats from anybody is abhorrent. Right. Let me let me say that out there clear. It's abhorrent. It should not happen. You should not put threats on anyone at any time. Right, but it's his own people threatening him. That's my point. I, I understand that. And he didn't say he didn't say Antifa. He didn't say BLM, BLM. or the FBI. He yeah. said it's the it's it's the group he was in that is now threatening him. And I just found that to be the strangest of things. I I mean, can you turn on other? Can Trump supporters turn on each other? Well, of course they can. If if you if you um all of a sudden turn the light switch on in your head oh. and you become and you become woke oh then Ooh. then you're like okay then you're you're a danger to the kingdom oh. of the magus oh. and you must go oh. so that's why they don't want to tell the truth out here on tiktok they're afraid that they'll be turning on each other yeah so so Listen, I, I listen. I want to go deep, deep, deep into this, but I know I'm 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 gonna respect your two minute. I'm gonna drop down so you can let other folks up. All right. But I'll just I'll request and hopefully I can get back up. Okay. Thank you, uh, Nutty Professor. Okay. Uh, Swerving, I'm coming after you. Yeah, go get him. Go get him. So there we have it. Another conspiracy theory debunked. Trump supporters, listen up. This is a safe space, okay? 
No other, if you decide to come clean today, come on in the box. If you are a Trump supporter and you want to come clean in the box, come on into this box. This is a safe space. Uh, I won't allow a single Trump supporter to attack you. Okay. I just want to put that out there. I have all kinds of powers. I got moderators. If any Trump supporter attacks another Trump supporter in here because they've seen the light, you will be banished from the kingdom. You can look in my eyes and see. I'm very serious about that. Okay. This is an opportunity to rehabilitate people. Okay. I understand how you got there. But if you truly, if these words that you're hearing from me, from the panelists, they're ringing true and you love these lovely United States of America and you feel like it's your day to come forth and testify, send a guest request and we will hear you out and we will support you in your transition. All right. They don't, want, they don't like me because I tell the truth, but guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd rather be realer than you. Moving along to the next um, next panelist. All right, uh, good morning, Brother Felix. I see you put a request in. Uh, what can I help you with? Okay. I are you in the bed? What? Are you, are you laying down, Felix? Yeah, I'm laying down. Well, that's a little uncomfortable to Zeus. Why is it uncomfortable? I'm laying down. Uh, because I don't really want to see you with your head on a pillow uh, this early, Felix. Get on up and, 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 and tell us what's really going on. Okay, what's going on? Um, I, why, why can't I have a head on a pillow? Never mind, Felix. Please okay. continue. Okay. I want to say good morning and stuff. <laughs> and how are you doing, by the way? I'm doing all right. I'm doing Thanks. all right. How are That's you? Good. That's good. Um, all I gotta say is that every time I talk to you, <laughs> you have the opposite stuff. So I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to you anymore. I really don't. I just don't. <laughs> Felix, you got in my box to just tell me you don't know what to say to me while you're laying down in bed, Felix. Really? Uh, I, I don't know what to say to you. I really don't. Okay. Well, guess what? Um, I'll say this to you, Felix. Uh, last time you and I checked in, you did mention something about, you know, cell phones, uh, you know, basically contributing to this situation we got going on here in the United States, right? You remember that conversation? Yes. I'm going to have to, you know, say something to you about that. I gave it some thought, and I think you may be onto something, Felix. So I would like you to continue to do more research about how cell phones have contributed to the erosion of truth in American society. Is that something you can do for, for Zeus? Okay. But in order to do it, you got to get up out of the bed. It's too early on a Monday for you to be laying down. What do you mean? I, 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 don't, I, I don't work today. I need to I, sleep. A man's to, work, Felix, a man's work is never done. Hey, where's your wife at? Uh, she went to the doctor. So she's up and at it already, and you're laying in the bed. No, she went to the doctor. She would have, she would have um, slept Felix, too. Felix, she's, she's up and at it. She's out and about. While yeah, you're she in had, the to, go to, the she had to go to the doctor. She Felix. wanted to sleep in, just like me. Felix. You should have went with her. Yes, thank you, Angela. You should have went with her, Felix. So, Felix, you get an F today. Oh my, you get an F oh my. today. You still think it's all about you, Felix, okay? Now, uh, I appreciate you checking in on Zeus, but I'm gonna have to move it along to the next uh, panelist, okay? And I need you next time, you get in my box, to be up and at it, okay? Oh, by the way, one I more can't thing. Take 20% one more Felix. thing. Lakers are not going all the way. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, you know, I don't give to about the Lakers. All right, okay, who they... you like? Golden State. Uh, yes, okay. and I'm not gonna let you get it out, Felix. Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to Felix. <laughs> My apologies, Evan. You know where I stand on the Lakers. It's personal. Okay. Uh, 
you know, go Warriors. Now, moving along to the next panelist, okay? <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble for that, but you know what? Uh, it is what it is. Moving along to the next guest, uh, Brother Streets. Greetings. What brings you to the kingdom? Good morning, all-powerful Zeus. How are you? Welcome. I'm doing just fine. Uh, what brings you hither? So I am on my way here. I want to convince all other people who voted for the Trump, for, voted for Trump in the past, mm -hmm. not to vote for this man in 2024 or in the primaries. His ego is off the hook. He's oh. taking shots at his own party, and we don't need that type of disruption. Thank you. So my front runner right now. My two front runners are Tim Scott from my beautiful state of South Carolina and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Mm. Well, I, I, all right. Know. You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen, from Brother Street. He said, do not vote for Donald J. Trump. Now, I don't like who he wants to vote for, but that's his American right to do. And all I think he's doing is helping Biden get another term by making those decisions. So what made you, when did you realize, Streets, that uh, Trump was just not a good candidate? All right, well, he, he's getting old. It's, it's about time we get younger people in there. Mm -hmm. uh, he depicted himself as a king in his new trading cards, and that oh. really put a bad taste in my mouth. Because to me and my religious belief, there is only one king. Right. And then he's being really, really, um, how do I say it? What's the word? Like he's attacking DeSantis when, when DeSantis has never said anything bad about him. And you can't do that to your own party because that is creating friction. Mm. Uh, mm. The things he said about DeSantis on Saturday was really repulsive and it just doesn't show a good character. Wait, 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 what did he say about DeSantis? Maybe I missed that. Uh, numerous things. He's taking shots at him. Yeah. Uh, bad, you know, bad, bad, bad thing. You just don't, you know, run your, run your campaign. Don't worry about DeSantis. Run on integrity. Do what DeSantis is doing. You know, he's not saying anything bad about Trump. He's just going about his business and doing his work, and, and that's it. You hear that? And some people uh, some people say, you know, he's just doing it because this is the primaries and that Trump will clean up his act, you know, once he gets the nomination. No, he won't. He, he, didn't, he couldn't shut up on, fa on Facebook, Twitter, any of them for four years. All he had to do was shut up and do his work, and that was it. And he couldn't shut his mouth. I've even learned as a New Yorker to shut my mouth now. That's why I don't do a lot of my lives. Uh, I took a I took a sabbatical from here. Thank you. And became less toxic and, and looked at myself in the mirror hard and long. And that's it. And that's why now I am going to register. Well, I did register as an independent. Mm -hmm. and I'm not swearing allegiance to a, a political side. I'm going for a policy. And, wow, and, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have streets in the box. A good example of a rehabilitated man, okay, in the kingdom. I've known streets for quite a while. I know where his political ideology was at one point. What we are hearing is never, never heard before testimony that he's starting to wake up and see. I didn't tell him to vote blue. No, he can still vote for who he wants to. But the point is he recognized that Donald J. Trump was Donald not. Trump. Yes. And that if he continued to follow Trump, he was going to continue to be toxic. Uh, my last question, Streets, uh, this, is, this is probably one of the most profound moments on TikTok in front of all these viewers because they can't say you and I. Did, did I ask you to do this? No, no, sorry, not at all. I didn't ask him to do this. So you can't say this is staged. Uh, were, were, you, were you fearful of coming clean like this? Do you think at any moment uh, prior to getting to where you're at now, was there ever a moment you, where you were afraid? Sort of like how Ray F says in his story that, you know, he's being attacked by other MAGA people. Were you ever afraid of other MAGA at any moment? I'm the, from New York City. I don't fear nobody. Mm. I do. Fair enough. And I feel it's best and other people got to wake up and use their head. Trump is just not good. I don't mind what he's getting sued for. If 
if he just shut his mouth, which we know he's never going to, and he's going to say dumb stuff all the time, and it's it's not going to be right for the country because we're not going to get anything done. So we need to get stuff done. It's about time. And we need somebody in there, to me, would be good candidates. You know, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Tim Scott. I don't think Nikki Haley has what it takes. Hmm. And I don't know about the other Democrats. So Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough, Streets. Listen, you know, I, I appreciate you stopping by and checking in on us and, and sharing. Uh, you're always welcome to come in the box and share your insight, brother. I appreciate it. Now I'm going to oh, move... Geez. You take yeah. care. Thank you for having me on. God bless, and I'll see you later, bro. Later, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to Face. Bringing in that truth. The truth will set you free, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what this is all about. As quiet as it is kept, okay? I know I bring a lot of razzle-dazzle, but this is really about setting the captive free from Donald J. Trump and his shenanigans. All right, moving along to the next panelist. Oh my gosh. Let's continue the path of healing, down this path of healing. Greetings, good uh, good morning, happy Monday attacking. See, I, see, I selected you, see? Oh, shut up. See? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Kaki well, you on his Zeus, way of getting kicked out of the kingdom. Zeus, Continue Zeus, attacking. Zeus, you are a great man. You have multiple talents. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to try to enter one of your uh, arenas of, of artistry. Oh. Yes. Talk to me. I'm going to fall flat on my face, but that's okay. I'm ugly as it is. So here we go. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus on April 25th. Ooh. He's going after Donald J. Trump for trying to swing his shtick. Oh! <laughs> Donald Trump attacks women when they are alone. He went after E. Jean Carroll in the dressing rooms, as we know. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> hey, that's hilarious. That good. That boy good, ain't he? Wow. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, my God. That made my day. What a great day on TikTok already. <laughs> Thank you, heaven, for those Zeus hands. Wow. Oh, my God. So I take it you're referring to the E. Jean Carroll situation of uh, attacking. Bye, bye, Mr. Trump. You will end it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you almost had it. Okay. You almost yeah. had it. You should have said fry or something. I don't know. I could have, but I'm not a good rhymer like you are. I mean, Zeus, you are king of king. You are the men of men. You know, so you're the greatest of them all. Well, well, I'm, I'm humble, the most I, humble. I, 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 I bow to your greatness and authority. Um, oh my goodness! I'm, you know, so, okay. and yes, that, No need, no need. Uh, I prefer to be just on the humble side of TikTok. I prefer to be on the honest side of TikTok. And last but not least, I prefer to be on the handsome side of TikTok. As you know, they refer to me as Triple H. Right. Mm. Correct. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it's, now, a great, it's, a, it's a great day, my man. It's a great it day. is a great day, right? It's a great day. It's a great tomorrow. It's mm. a great uh, next <laughs> week. Uh, the thing is, Donald Trump is laying tracks uh, further and deeper as he keeps opening his mouth. Um, you know, the crypt keeper who digs graves, he's just basically digging his own. You hear that? You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Special counsel Jack Smith, yes. Yes, Fonnie Willis, right, right, Alvin Bragg, right? Boris Epstein, Boris Epstein's Trump attorney had to talk to uh, Jack Smith. Uh, Boris Epstein was one of the attorneys that was sitting at the table in New York with all those other ones. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 and and they got the text messages, right? Yeah. Mm. yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah. Mm, but you know, but this. hey, 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 forget, forget facts, forget evidence, forget mm. phone calls, forget oh. memos. Let's just throw it up in the air and just say everybody's guilty because that's what the right wants. <laughs> you don't need any evidence. Throw them in jail. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, uh, for some reason they want evidence when Trump gets thrown in jail. Okay. And we got it. We got the receipts over here, ladies and gentlemen, every day. It's like, uh, uh, you know, if you got your Bible out there, you know, how you're supposed to read a Bible passage a day. Every day I wake up and I read a little bit about Trump going to jail and it just puts a smile on my face. <laughs> it's over. There's yes, not I, 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 I do like, I do like reading. I do like reading the parts of the Bible where they talk about the Antichrist and it lays out a platform and foundation of what to look for within an Antichrist, oh, oh. like putting themselves over God, mm. you know, which Donald Trump has pretty much said he is mm. and saying that he is the chosen one, which he is not. No, you know, he's not. You know, Hi, but Trump look, is the anti look, Some say Trump is the Antichrist. What do you yeah, think about that? You look, rather, you look rather good today. It looks like you got a good night's sleep. You ate well. You, look, real, you look glowing. I oh, mean, I am glowing. Zeus yeah. always glows, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, <laughs> I had a great weekend. I saw things in the kingdom only God should see. Okay. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, did you happen to see any of my new videos that I posted on my other no. site? Oh, you no. need to go look at the other site where I posted videos of people. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, make sure you tag me. Okay, tag Zeus. I've already got you tagged, man. You just don't pay attention. Okay. To me. You don't like uh, it. Another like thing, we got to move it along <laughs> attacking. All right, buddy. All right, All right ladies Everybody and gentlemen. Everybody be good. <laughs> well, that is attacking. And tag uh, BB for de democracy, please. All right, moving along to my favorite guest, the beautiful Angela, who I was venturing into her live yesterday, and it was getting hot and spicy. <laughs> Good morning, Zeus. Angela. Zeus, listen, those are what we call after hours. Oh, okay, okay. But okay. it was very, very nice to see you come in. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's mostly Thank you for politics. Having me. Mostly huh? politics, but we had a little spice during the after hours. Okay. Yes, yes. Attacking Gnosis, he has stopped by. Now, before I forget this, okay, it's not yeah. one of your topics, but I saw it in the comments and I see it all the time. People talk about, oh, everyone's moving from the blue states down to Florida. Right. Have you heard that before? I, I have. Even even Tesla uh, moved to Texas, remember? Oh my goodness. What you need to understand, people that are saying this, listen, they're moving there. That's called snowbirds, okay? So oh. what happens is they're moving down there for about four months because, listen, I live in the land of like a blue sea up here in the Northeast. Oh, blue yeah. States, blue states where it's almost perfect, except, except it gets cold. Yeah. Okay? Yes. It's cold. So they go to Florida for about four months to warm up. They're not really moving there. Mm. That this, and this has been going on for decades, people. Wow. Yeah. And it's just cold up here. And they go exactly. down. Exactly. That's all. I mean, let's just get real here. Keeping it 100. Now, I was, I, was, <laughs> I was in Florida, and I told yeah. you that even from the beach, I listened to some of your lives. You did. I did right, right from right from the beach. That's how important. Job, that Andrew. is how important. I like to hear the truth every day. Exactly. So for those of you who continue to say Zeus is lying and the panelists are lying, cut it out. All right. Somebody said wrong, lady. White birds. No, listen. I'm from. You don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, they don't, they don't know what they're talking they, about. They don't, know they don't. So I got to go on. Florida, just for a second. And Go ahead. Now I want to. I want to respect the other guests. It was nice to see him come in here and admit that Trump is a horrible person. Right. That Mr. Mr. Streets. So he, Mr. he's Streets. Doing, he's doing well. But DeSantis is really doing some bad things down yeah. there. Yeah. You know, he's fighting with Minnie Mouse. He is upset. He's upset <laughs> that um, 
with Disney. We all know this. So you know what he's talking about, Zeus? What's he talking about? He's talking about building either another amusement park or a prison. Right Shame! next Right next to Disney World. He's down there in the culture wars of you know what, H E double hockey sticks. Yes. He's losing his mind down there. Mm. Now, one last thing. I want to talk about AOC for a second, okay? Oh, talk she, to her. She had this great interview yesterday with Jen Psaki, okay? You might not have seen it, but you I know. haven't seen it yet. But, okay. but, but please, educate me. Let me you, know what was going you on. you got to see it. It was fabulous. Because you know what she said? What she did she say? She basically said, Jim Jordan, go home. Mind your business there. There's more crime going on in your state so right take your ugly yellow tie all right i added that part <laughs> and go home and get him out of here go home marjorie go home get we, out of we here don't, we don't want you here we don't want you get out go back get out. okay hey. Now, one last thing, another thing Robin really bothering Bob. me. One last thing real quick. I don't want to take up too much time, but this bothers me. Talk I'm a mother of a son who is active duty military. Ten mm -hmm. years. This is why I was in Florida. I was in Pensacola visiting him. He's stationed oh, there. Right. All we're hearing is the military is woke. I am so tired of hearing that, Zeus. Our what? military is serving our country. That's they're right. They're not choosing a side. That's okay? right. They're not left. They're not right. We need to appreciate that. Stop calling them woke people. Knock them up. Stop it. Cut it out. Cut it out. Okay. Now and that I know my, who's doing it. it. I'm so sick of it. It's not okay. We need to appreciate them. This is not woke. Because I talked to him about politics. Now, I've raised him well, so he does lean left because I've raised him well. Hey, oh, but, bless, God bless you, Angela. Thank you for being I've raised him well, so he leans left. But as far as his service, they don't see it that way. Left, right, bl they don't pick a side. They serve Thank the you. darn country. Stop calling them woke. Thank okay. you. Now, yes. I will yield my time. I took up a little bit more than two minutes. Well, you did. You did good. We're doing this new way of doing it. So I appreciate everyone that's able to try to consolidate their message and help me get through all the people in the box. OK, because I've been getting a lot of complaints. So, yes, thank you. Well, I'm not complaining. You keep doing what you're doing. The truth is great. Thanks for having me. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. I will. End. And it was nice to see you last night. Thanks I know, for right. stopping by. I I'll will. keep it a little more clean before midnight Eastern. Eastern. <laughs> no, keep it hot and spicy. Eastern okay? Standard Time, we keep it clean. After that, it's just a little spicy. Okay, but thanks <laughs> for stopping in. All right, thank you. All right, goodbye, All right, sir. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, see ya. Thank you so much. <laughs> Socially, Angela. Hey, disaster girl. Nice to see you. Thank you so much, Socially, Angela. See, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see. It's not that difficult to just get into the box and testify from on high and tell the truth. All right, moving along to our next panelist. We might, I might get through all of the, everyone before I get up out of here. What a great, great conversation today. Uh, Cindy, Zeus is a drag queen full-time job. <laughs> what does that All right. mean? All right. We're not. Good morning, Mac. Uh, how are you doing? How are you doing, Zeus? I'm I just wanted right. to, I wanted to jump in here and, and maybe enlighten you a little bit. Oh, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Have we done business before? Yes, we have. I just don't seem to believe I have, but uh, you want to enlighten Zeus. All right. Well, I will enlighten your audience, ah, maybe. Thank you, Angela. All right. That's better, Mac. Uh, please continue, because Zeus is already lit. Oh, Trump just gave a speech that start up concentration camps for homeless people. Oh, I heard about that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh, Schnitzler, right? Yes. Yeah. So 
And then uh, just one other thing. If you could tap on my little box down there and look at my profile picture, take a good look at it. I see it. All right. That's handsome, humble, and honorable, <laughs> sir. Uh... <laughs> yes, sir. Unbelievable. Uh, sir. And. And, and 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 concentrate on the handsome part, sir. <laughs> Man, I've been uh, swindled. Enlightened. You've no. been enlightened. I, I have enlightened you, Zeus. <laughs> Man, I still, I'm still having nightmares about what I just looked at. How dare you try to brand yourself? That. You know How that's dare handsome. You try to brand yourself? Triple H. Yes, hoodwinked. Here, here, let me turn on my camera. Please don't. Please don't. There we go. Look at that, baby. I don't, <laughs> I don't even see your camera. It's not even on. You don't see it? No. I mm. turned it on. It's showing no. on my camera. Mm. Mm. Okay. I don't see you, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, you know, you, 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 you almost... <laughs> committed blasphemy in the kingdom, uh, Macaroni. If it wasn't for the fact that it's obvious you're not Triple H, that would have definitely been blasphemy. And and I would have had to have a trial right here on TikTok with all of, with all of- Hey, I, I'm game, I'm game, I'm no, game. No, no, there's no need, no need, okay? Because everyone's seen it. And we all can tell the difference between the real and the fake. And you, my friend, are definitely more on the fake side when it comes to being Triple H. Um, you know, I, I, and I got to be honest, you know, this is honest feedback. Now, if you want me to help you, you know, get to a Triple H status, we can do that offline. You know, I can consult with you, but, you know, you got to have that bread to do that. OK, thank you for letting me up here, Zeus. You're absolutely welcome. And I just. Uh, I did follow you. I wasn't following you, but you know, since you since you uh, you know uh, you aspire to be Triple H, I got, because I got it, because I got it. <laughs> uh, okay, whatever that means, whatever you got, that's fine. But you don't have what I have. Okay, you just don't. And I and I know it's Monday, and I hate to be that harsh with you, Macaroni, but you got a long ways to go now. If you continue to follow me and my teachings, you'll get there. Fair enough. You have a wonderful day, sir. All right. You too, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to my good friend, Macaroni, okay? By the way, I do love some good macaroni as long as it's cooked uh, by the right people. All right, moving along to the next panelist, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that. We're, we're, we're making good on time. All right. Uh, good morning. I hope this comes through. It looks like we're getting a timeout uh, situation. Um, it's not coming through. You are missing the world's greatest mm -hmm, times. You are one of the best. Uh, best sheep. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, full disclosure, I cannot hang out with sheep. That is against my religion. Uh, Dr. Willie, I'm so sorry, but... It would not allow you to connect. So I'm going to bring up the next panelist. All right. Uh, the Truthinator. Yes, greetings. I think we're getting another timeout. All right, Shireen, good morning. Hello, Shireen. Are you there? Good morning. Excuse me. I guess it didn't work, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to have to disconnect. All right. Moving along to our next panelist, my good friend, Shay. Yes. Hello. Good morning. Happy Monday. Yes. 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 How was your weekend? 
Nice, nice, nice. That's always good. You know, I love it when people tell me they had a good weekend and they, they did things to take care of themselves. They took breaks from TikTok. All of that's good. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. They cannot hear you. Try again. Let's do this again. Wow. Wow. Before you before you get started, right? Thank you uh, for those of you in the comments letting me know. She's going to drop and come back up. Oh, my goodness. Easy, 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 easy. Please try again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, let's do this once again. We got through a lot of panelists today. I think this new rule actually might be helpful. Can, can everyone hear uh, Shay? Can you hear? Uh-oh. Still can't. Wow. Did you close the app? Did you close the app and then relaunch? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out, old pappy. Uh, old pappy, do me a favor. Please change your username. Change it to something uh, a little more friendly, okay? I know you could be more creative than that, okay? Old pappy, it just sounds dirty. It, sound, it sounds like... Uh, you know, you may be back there in the 1800s and stuff like that. And I don't think that's the image you want to give across, you know, a man with your career experience, okay? And I know, I know that you serve these lovely United States and you could come up with a better name than that. She didn't pay for, Bi I'll cut it out. She did pay for Biden's, uh, she, ladies and gentlemen, this is just what happens when you're on TikTok. Sometimes you have technical difficulties. Yes, Creeper, greeting Shay. Yes, see. Can you hear uh, the panelists? Old Daddy, no. Can you hear Shay? Let's see. They said no. <laughs> we tried. Fair enough, Shay. I don't either. Maybe you got to update the app. When's the last time you updated? Yeah, you might want to update the app. There's like maybe this. There's been like two updates within the past week. <laughs> All right. Thank you. See you later, too. I appreciate you. All right. Moving on. I think we got one more, and then we are out of here. All right. I see Nutty Professor has sent another request. I might as well bring you up, Champ, before we get up out of here. Uh, Dr. Uh, see, Doc, it's not working. Dr. Willie, it's not working. It's not working. Shame. We are getting malfunctions on TikTok. All right, Nutty Professor, you're the last. Hey, what's I see you sent another request. So, so I very quickly, um, streets, thumbs up to you, streets. Uh, see, those are the type of people we need to be talking to. Yes. This is why you do what you do. Thank you. If, if you can just plant that seed, it will germinate and it will sprout. Uh, Mac, Mac, you made my day, Mac, because you got Zeus. You you got you got me too, because I, I ended up clicking on his picture too. I thought some <laughs> animation was gonna go on, but again, so old pappy. Years. So Zeus, I told old pappy I would hold his hand and I would bring him up in the box and I would sit there with him like a pre-K student because he's like, you know, people don't like him. And he said he, he he doesn't feel welcome in the live. And I'm like, I'll go with you. I'll make sure that people don't attack you. I know old Pappy. He's always welcome in my box. He sends me I, he sends I, me I, messages I, all the time. I keep trying to get him up in the box. I, you know, and I will happily drop down so he can come up. Mm. I, I just because I told him I want to hear from him. Oh, old Pappy, please send us a guest request. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't don't be shy all of a sudden. Don't, he's, don't he's like, like, he's like, don't act like we bite all of a sudden. He's like, he's not liked. And I'm like, well, you know what? Zeus has a lot of people in his lives that are not liked, and he still has them up, and we still listen. 
Yeah. And we we have our little back and forth debates, but you know what? They're you know, they're 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 pretty tame at times. Yes. Yeah, oh Pappy, come on in the box. Uh uh please show us your handsomeness. Oh, it says you don't have guest access right now. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't... okay. Thank you, brother Rick. Thank you. He doesn't have guest access at the moment. Uh, well, Pat, Pappy, you should have said that to me because you know I've been trying to get you in this in these boxes. I thought so I any... knew old Pappy before. Maybe I got him wrong. Sorry about that. <laughs> Maybe I don't so... know who old Pappy is after all, and he really is about that life. <laughs> but he really, but you are correct. He really does need to change his screen name because I ain't here for it. <laughs> yeah, I ain't here for it either. All right. So, so I will, uh, sir. I will be. I will be. I will be. In, I will be in your general vicinity uh, at the end of the month. I'm. I'm coming to Cali. Cali. Oh, really? What part? Sac. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, then you know, keep me posted on your whereabouts. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hit hit me up. Hey, thanks for the live today, man. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful Monday. And we will be back in this in this fake kingdom on tomorrow. No, this is the realest kingdom you've ever experienced. Cut it out, nutty. No, you know I got you know I got to mess with you. It's nothing but love, brother. I love you. Have a great day. All right. Love you too. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as you can see. We survived another day on TikTok together in uh, one of the best shows out here, okay? We went through all of the emotions together, but it's unfor unfortunately, it is time for Zeus to get up out of here. So until next time, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe out there. And I really am the most handsome. I really am, ladies and gentlemen. This is how I move when I'm walking like Zeus. This is how I sound when I'm talking like Zeus. This is how I stare when I'm looking like Zeus. I like to act a fool when I'm moving like Zeus. Don't be playing with my mood. When Thank I'm you. Yes. Sam, I know the beat kicking hard like Bruce. 
Lauren Green on the beat. You better call the truth, ladies and gentlemen. I can dance the blocks in the jungle like a kangaroo. Don't get caught flipping in the woods or you'll be dead. Hey, no. You heard about me.